And then just before they feel like you've gone into some rigid parental mode, remind them that God's laws are for our protection. Remember, obedience is what? The channel through which our children will experience God's blessing. And what, what are the commandments? The commandments or the rules are like guardrails that keep you and me and keep our kids on the highway where when they land, they'll experience the highest and the best from God. When God says commandments to 13 and 15-year-old young males after all they're being bombarded with in our culture, sex before marriage is wrong. It is not because God's a prude. And you don't want to come over here and say to your son, son, I know you have all those desires, but God says no. <laughs> and, you know, then they turn on the TV and they only watch three beer commercials and there's all these gorgeous babes. And, you know, if you drink this kind of beer or smoke this kind of cigarettes or drive that kind of car, all those gorgeous babes just jump in the car with you. Well, what do you think your kid's going to believe? You going, no. <laughs> or MTV going, yeah. Huh? <laughs> what do you think? And so then you sit down with your son and you say, God has given a beautiful, beautiful gift called sex. And, and you're right at that time in your life where I'm telling you, you are drawn to the opposite sex. And you know what, son? It's a good thing. Because God has a time and a place inside certain boundaries where he wants you to experience and express communication at a deep level with one woman for the rest of your life. But you know something? All the stuff you see on the TV and all the commercials, we're going to talk about them even as we're watching the game. They're trying to snicker you, and they're trying to fool you, and they're trying to seduce you, and they're trying to give you a good thing at the wrong time and in the wrong way. God loves you so much that he put borders and boundaries called commands, and he says no sex before marriage. Because what we found now, the research we know, we didn't know this 30 years ago, that those who have sex before marriage have a higher incident of divorce. We know that if you have sex before marriage, the probability that you'll commit adultery goes up. And, and almost laughable, the research tells us that those that had sex before marriage will have a lower sexual satisfaction in their marriage. See, God wants something better for you. See, it's a theology of holiness that's winsome, that's good. And then you say, there's consequences, son. Forty years ago, never, no one ever heard of AIDS. Genital herpes never goes away. These sexually transmitted diseases... The psychological pain. Are you ready to be a father and take on that responsibility? But it's not a harsh, get with it. You're teaching them a theology of holiness that a good God who's sovereign and loves them has put certain boundaries down for their benefit. You get it? That's what you teach them. And a theology of holiness says God's ultimate aim is to make them holy, not always happy. You can have joy, but you won't always be happy. That means that your sensual impulses might just lie to you, and they may not be good for you at all. And what, quote, feels good and you ought to just do it might be the very worst thing that you ever did. 